Hey y'all, Jen here from Pepper Hero Farm. We have been flower farming for the last 12 years and there has been one trend year after year that keeps coming up from brides or from people looking to do events and other things and trying to keep things cost effective. And that is they've been sourcing buckets of blooms from us to be able to do their own table centerpieces. It is very on trend right now to do your own table centerpieces and to use little bud vases like this to do it. It's a great cost-effective way to have beautiful flowers adorn the tables for any wedding or other event you might hold. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to take these beautiful DIY buckets of blooms and put them in these lovely little bud vases to adorn a table for a wedding or other event. Now, whether you're a flower farmer or a gardener or just a hobbyist at growing blooms, taking flowers, just simple little flowers like what you're going to see me do here today, taking these simple flowers and putting them in these bud vases to adorn the table at a wedding or event, it is so simple, so elegant, yet elevated, you're not even gonna believe it and you're gonna save yourself a ton of money. If y'all have a friend or family member that's thinking about getting married this year, feel free to share this video out with them. The first thing I wanna talk about is sourcing these beautiful bud vases. I've had a few couples tell me, and really, usually it's like, a mom and the bride, or the mother of the bride and the bride herself who are talking about getting these bud vases. A really fun way to do bonding as a mother and daughter or the mother-in-law and the daughter or all of you all together is to go thrifting for these little bud vases. I love the idea because you can get many different eclectic looking vases Mixing and matching these vases together really gives it a really cool garden-inspired wildflower look. It's a really great way to make your little bud vases look very different and very organic looking, and that's the way to do it. The other thing you can do is buy these new, and that's what I did. I actually have a huge wedding coming up in June. My bride wants little bud vases everywhere all over the table, it's taking place in an outdoor setting in our beautiful botanical garden here in the Des Moines metro area. And she wanted more of an elevated cut glass look, which is why I actually got these beautiful little bud vases. If you would like a link to the bud vases that I have here, I'll put them in the description below and share that with y'all so you know where to find them. What you're going to think about as you're setting these little bud vases on your table, you want to try to do an odd number of vases. So what I think about is putting one by itself or three or five or seven. Before I get started with showing you how to put the flowers in here, I wanna talk about one thing. And this is really important and something that I recommend to my wedding clients as they come and talk to me about their wedding day. There are always family members who wanna help out and sometimes there are just not enough tasks to delegate to everyone. I always recommend delegating uh, this particular process out to uh, aunts or cousins, people who wanna be involved in your special day and have a hand in helping you. This is a perfect task for them. If they wanna help out, this is something they can do. All right, so let's get started with grabbing our flowers out of our DIY bucket, and I'll give you some really great tips and tricks for putting them in here. All right, the first thing I always like to start with is putting a little greenery in. So I'm going to grab a tree. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's not a tree. But this is a, a giant eucalyptus bloom. This came off of one eucalyptus plant. I'm not gonna take this giant thing and pop it in there, no. <laughs> I'm going to pull off some of the side branches and that is going to end up being my greenery. So I'm going to cut one of the side branches off and literally this whole thing, it can go in all of the bud vases. This little branch is gonna take up a lot of bud vases. So this is a lot of greenery. This is really valuable. I'm gonna set that to the side pop it back in the bucket. Uh, when I have my little piece of eucalyptus here, you want to make sure to strip off all of the greenery that's going to be in the water. 
So I take my I take my fingers, you can pluck it off, but I take my fingers usually and I just hold the stem with with my right hand and I pull my left hand down and strip off all the leaves. So toss that in my little waste basket back here. I have my little stem now and I'm just going to plop it in my vase. All right, my next thing I'm gonna put in there is a ranunculus. And with the ranunculus, you just wanna make sure, and this is with any flower, just make sure to pull off like this uh, green, greenery is starting to look a little wilty and a little discolored. I'm going to pull that off and throw it away. And then I'm left with a little bud and I have my little bloom here. You can use both together or you can pull this bud off and use it separately, which is what I'm going to do. I'm first going to pop the bloom in here. And I'm just estimating how long that, that bloom needs to be. It can be shorter, it can be taller, it doesn't matter. So, you know, reassure yourself that it does not need to be perfect. Again, making it look more nature inspired, garden inspired is the way to go. You want it to look natural. All right, so I'm gonna take my little, my bud here. I'll pop it in the one in the end. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some stock. We're not dealing with incredibly tall, long stems, so I don't wanna take a crazy long stem like this and pop it in there. That looks a little weird. So I am going to trim it up a little bit. And instead of making it look really chunky like this, I am going to pull off these bottom blooms to make it look a little less thick and a little bit more gardeny, where it has a few less blooms on it. I'm going to cut it down just a smidge more. I'm going to take it and pop it in my little bud vase. Next, I'm going to grab an orange ranunculus. And again, it has a little bud on it that I'm going to end up using. Pop it in there. I'm just spreading it out. It doesn't matter how to put it in, just like, do something beautiful in here. All right, the next thing I'm going to grab is seeded eucalyptus. And it's in tree form like I showed you with the other one. This is seeded eucalyptus. And uh, I really love seeded eucalyptus because of the pods. And there is a lot that you can use with seeded eucalyptus. Also, there's a lot available. There's no shortage. And the, the trick is with seeded eucalyptus, it doesn't actually need to be in water. So if you have a weird little piece like this that's pretty short and can't touch the bottom of the water, that's okay. You can end up just tossing it in. It does not need to touch the water. It can just rest there in the vase. I'm going to grab some of the greenery from my lace flower that's in here. And this isn't, the lace flower there's blooms in here, but there's also a lot of this beautiful greenery. I like the verdant tone of it. So I'm going to take this lace flower greenery and just pop it in my little bud vase. I like to usually use two or three stems. Sometimes though, if you have a big bloom, one stem will look perfect in a little bud vase. You don't have to go too crazy. It's starting to look a little bit green, so I'm going to give it a little punch of color with my uh, stock here. So again, I'm pulling off some of the bottom blooms just to make it look a little bit more gardeny and not too heavy. I want this to look wispy and whimsical. I'm gonna pop this guy in. I'm gonna cut it clear down again like what we talked about. It's gonna go in this little tiny bud vase. In, that, in this bud vase at the end, I'm gonna put a little sprig of greenery in there. One of my pieces of eucalyptus. Just a little something in there and I think I have a few little gomfrinas. I'm gonna take my gomfrina and just pop a few in here. Just precious, they look so beautiful. All right, and I have some orange ranunculus. I cut them already. Oh, I have one. I'm just going to pop this guy in here. And some more. This is the bloom on the lace flower. It's really, really beautiful. I'm putting it in the big vase. I'm gonna take one of my pink ranunculus and put it in. I'm putting in more than I usually do. Usually I leave it way more wispy, but I'm kind of feeling it. I'm feeling like putting them in and I'm just gonna go with my gut and do what I want to do. Again, it doesn't matter already. I'm like, this looks so pretty. And I'm like, any, any couple or any event that I would hold here on the farm, just setting up a table like this with these beautiful little wispy things. So beautiful, I love it so much. So, pop that guy in there. I don't have to use that, I just wanted to. 
All right. So we're almost done here. You can see how simple it is. I don't have a ton of stems in here. I didn't go too crazy. Really, this could be it, but I'm gonna pop in one more piece just because I can. Just one more maybe little punch of color in here. Give it a really nice vibe. This looks incredibly sparse. If you wanted to go in and put in more flowers, you could, but you don't need to. This looks perfect as it is, just wispy and whimsical. It is supposed to look this way, just because I can't help it. I'm going to put in a little bit more greenery in this last one. <laughs> uh, it's a smaller one, so I'm going to cut down my greenery a little bit. And just have that coming out the side, it looks really good. So nice. And that's how you do it, so simple. Now, you know, if you're having a huge event and there's tons of bud vases, you probably have like 200 more of these to go, but you can see how quickly I just threw these together and how beautiful it's going to look on the table. It's something as simple as this that really adds a lot of elegance to any event. Look how beautiful, natural, and garden inspired they look. I hope I've inspired all of you to try something like this for your next event or if you're a home gardener or a flower farmer or if you're getting married or have friends or family who are getting married and need suggestions for great table decor here you go before i leave today i want to thank all of our big dreams family on the patreon platform for all of your love and support thank you all so much for joining today and if you're new please like and subscribe to our channel as always thank you all for joining today and happy growing